check one two. heard him on morning music Wyoming public radio please give a warm welcome to crescent moon one two three we love them they love us the one the only close your love to welcome and I hope you'll join me in welcoming the Peace All Sisters. It seems like there's a great mix of people that have come out. It sounds like the community is kind of coming by and checking out the booths and checking out the music. For one thing, it's a, it's a lovely setting. It's a free festival. There's a lot of good entertainment. I think it's very relaxed. The, the town and the organizers of this festival, I think, are very accommodating. I'm Mike Clark, and uh, my particular responsibilities for the Oyster Ridge Music Festival are as director of the festival and a member of the steering committee. It had been primarily just a, uh, uh, a venue for and a platform for the Wyoming State Flat Pick Contest. And that, that's something else uh, unique about this festival uh, is the, the contest. And you've had two Wyoming champions win the Nationals. Win the nationals. <laughs> So they ask uh, uh, my organization to the uh, Kimmer Outreach Office and the museum and the chamber to get together and kind of reinvent the thing. Mr. Kimmer, he's the one that financed the backing to get the coal mines going. And that's why Kimmer is named, it was named after him. And Quayley, Patrick Quayley, he's the one that actually did all the prospecting out here to find the coal. JCPenney started here, 1902. 
I think Kimber is so cool. Uh, it took me a few years to be accepted. <laughs> I think it's the atmosphere. Um, it's definitely laid back, like clumsy lovers come back repeatedly. It could be nicer. It's a summer day and you got good bluegrass music and you got some food and, and good folks. Perfect. I think you have fantastic performance. The ambience is great. People are so relaxed. Well, I think it's just, you know, it's in a small town atmosphere here in the, the beautiful uh, triangle in uh, Cameron, Wyoming. We play so many festivals all over the country, and this one's neat one. Number one, it's free. I'm sit and listen to some really good music for free. I mean, number one, uh, the, it says free. It's free for all the participants, which is, which is really fantastic. I mean, they've been able to keep really good quality bands and good quality music, and just um, for people just for free and that's really wonderful. Plus there's so many different vendors with the craft vendors and um, so there are a lot of different activities so I think it's a it's a really neat festival, neat opportunity for people to take advantage of. I walk on forever, never settle down, cause there's no time for me. And all your words of redemption and just slow me down, in my time to see. My name is Robin Kessinger, and I've been coming to this festival since 1992. I love to entertain. I love to play for people. I'm a ham, and I do workshops. We did a workshop yesterday, one of the biggest workshops we've ever had. What people get out of these workshops is uh, not to be afraid of the instrument. A lot of people are afraid of the instrument before they start. Yeah, keep, just keep on doing it because I can kind of follow it around there. <laughs> well, I just treat them like they're coming to my house, Paul. <laughs> Um, they get a lot of fun out of them. They learn, not necessarily learn how to, they can't, maybe they can't execute that tune that day, but they have a lot of things that they take home with them and learn how to practice with and improve them.